people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to do potato salad. Right, um, as I've been I've been told by a chef, um, I can put bacon and eggs in mine um, and a bit of help from Paul as well. And I'm going to cut these. <laughs> First, I'm going to get a new mouth and then a new set of teeth, and then so I'm going to cut these some of these taters up and put them, cut them into little cubes into a bowl while the eggs and bacon are cooking. These have been doing for about ten minutes, so they're not really well. They are soft, but not over soft. Not falling apart in my hand. Might be better to drain the water out or drain some of the water out and lose a taste of it. Too. I'm not sure how many taters to cut. So I'm just going to cut what I think is some, well obviously I'm cutting some. I've never tried a potato salad, first time for everything. I'll just probably do about two more taters. And then the eggs should be done. But they, I don't know if you can see the eggs doing, but the, the eggs are doing, and I don't know if you can see the bacon, but the bacon is doing as well. You can't see everything. Oh, good. Well, I don't know, because I'm on this side of the camera and you're on the other side. Don't start. Don't put two fingers up at me. I'll slap you silly. I wouldn't have to slap you much then, would I? <laughs> Could you all silly? Oh, forget it. Look at face on that. Oh, it looks good, Kel. I think that's enough taters cooked. Cut. Cut. I think I'm going to now see if the eggs are done they've been boiling fusively for about i don't know how long probably about the same time as the taster so i'm going to turn the eggs off which is the ring for the eggs lee that one <laughs> thank you uh, the eggs have not had as much as i thought as long as i thought the egg would um, as long as i thought so the uh, tater salad is going to be yellow so I'm just going to cut the egg up in bits, smaller bits than that, and the egg's going to go, the egg yolk is going to make the egg potato, the potato salad is going to be yellow, like I've just said, explained. So here goes the yolk, and oh, <laughs> not as bad as I thought, but it's still doing dumb bits. It's been boiling for five minutes. I thought it had been boiling longer because I got sidetracked onto something else I was doing. I'm just looking at it now. It's not actually very uh, appetizing, but it's going to get there. It's, we're going to get there slowly. So I'm just going to cut the other egg, like I said. It might turn the other way, a bit of egg that's gone in, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just turning the bacon over. I think I see the pan spinning round. Over, over the pan. And the bacon, this one doesn't look done. I shouldn't be using metal on the pan that's got no stick stuff on it. So what I'm going to do is the, the bit stuck well, though, the bacon that looks done, because I was told it's got to be crispy. 
So the bit I'm going to leave off, they can leave it a bit longer and making it really crispy and then putting it in with the potato salad and then mixing it and then obviously taste. Right, it's not quite crispy but it's done to it's done a bit. So I'm going to scrape the pan. So I'm going to pick the bacon up, cut it now, that's it. And I'm going to cut this into a bowl. Why did I touch the pan? Oh, i clean that down. Cut it with my finger, cut it in my, but it's in my finger. And then there's just the last bit, which I'm going to pick out with a fork. I'm not definitely to pick it out with my fingers. Made a mess of the pan, but I think everybody makes a mess of the pan when they use them. Ow, ow, ow. Hot, hot. Hey, hot. And they took my bloody finger off then. Right, and as I said, you don't have to put uh, uh, stuff in, you can just do not do it with nothing. Uh, I'm just going to add some mayo, you can add salad cream if you want, if you prefer it a bit sharper. <laughs> Could you open me that please? Being the weak little thing that I am. But my should to squeeze it. I don't know if you can see. I've got mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. Look, mayonnaise. No, mayonnaise. No. And then I'm going to mix that with a fork. See if I can open it this time. Oh, God. <laughs> really open it. <laughs> oh, am I really that weak? I can't open a tin of mayonnaise. I can't get enough mayonnaise in this. I'm not close to this. <laughs> oh, I think that might be enough. Yeah, no more than enough. <laughs> Probably a bit too much, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Right, potato salad with too much mayonnaise in it, but not to worry. Right, I was going to ask Ziggy to do the taste test, but he can't have bacon. I don't know if he can have mayonnaise, so I won't even try him. Right, Lee's going to do the taste test of this end product of potato salad. Why have you given me a spoon? I don't know. Just eat it. Stop moaning about things. Actually, I am actually shocked. Oh, yeah? I didn't think it would actually taste that nice. Um, mainly a bit strong. Mayonnaise yeah, well, I said I put too much of mayonnaise in it anyway. Well, you can taste everything the bacon, the egg, the potatoes. You can definitely taste the mayonnaise. Good quality. Yeah. Good quality, in other words, very nice to have. Oh, yeah, nice nice to have. I actually would actually, you know, recommend it because it is actually nice. You can taste everything and it's nice and savoury. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Savoury. How savoury? Oh, spicy, in it? Oh. <laughs> Thumbs up. Right, I hope that shows you how to go about with the potato salad. Uh, if you, I'm sorry, I'll sorry, Lee coming to me in his face and put me right on. So if, if you like what you see, please keep doing me. And if you want to give me a big old thumbs up, it'd be much appreciated. If you want to leave a comment about if you want me to make something or if you want me to make biscuit, please leave a comment, which I have been doing. Thank you very much. 
and if you haven't already subscribed why not get subscribing thank you bye